Hi, in this video I am going to talk about the new ACI Smart Licensing and the scope of this video is limited to what do existing ACI customers do. So a quick recap, in ACI version 3.2 we introduced the Smart Licensing module and you can find that in the APIC GUI under System tab Smart Licensing. Um, I do want to make it clear that we are still using an honor-based license schema for now. So think of ACI 3.2 more like an accounting function to see what licenses you have and if you're in compliance. But I also want to point out that nothing will stop working or shut down across upgrades or reboots. And the worst thing you will see in the APIC GUI is an annoying fault that says you're not in compliance with what you're trying to do. And the, one of the reasons that we're moving towards this smart licensing scheme is it really helps us to unify everything under our new ACI tiered license scheme. And if, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's moving away from the sort of single universal license to different tiers of licenses that bring in new features that we've added on to ACI as we've developed the product. And that starts with the essentials license going up to the advanced license if you want to do things like multi-site and things like that and then there are, are also specific add-on licenses like if you wanted to do storage or maxec things like that i do also want to say that the legacy aci license is still currently available for order but really the advice here is you should be moving away from that into the tiered approach because that will be the way forward and uh, under the old scheme if you remember when you bought aci you bought an ACI license per leaf and it was a universal license, meaning we didn't really make a differentiation between what that license allowed. But since we've now evolved ACI, and we've added things like multi-site, multi-pod, AVE, MaxSec, all these kinds of things, uh, those things are now um, you know, fitting well under the tiered licensing scheme. So the real question uh, for partners and customers is, so what do I do about my existing ACI deployments and those original licenses I bought? So. What I want to point out is there's good news here because there is a way to convert your existing legacy ACI license into the appropriate smart tier license and you can do that through APIC and it's, it's, it's fairly automated. And they call this process a device-led conversion or DLC. Now, I want to make it sure that we're clear here. You can only do a DLC one time and one time only. I just want to make that very, very clear. And you trigger that DLC uh, option when you upgrade ACI from ACI lower than 3.2, so 3.1, 3.0, into 3.2. So if you're already at 3.2 and beyond, it's not going to trigger the DLC. It's got to be when you cross that boundary into 2.3. So there's some tips here that I want to make sure we understand. Uh, the first is read that fantastic manual. It is online, and I've even gone so far as to make a nice shortcut for you, cs.co slash smart. Dash ACI that will take you right to the smart licensing page on cisco.com so everybody can can access that and go into the section for the DLC tool or device led conversion and I do want to point out not to deviate from this process read the whole thing carefully because there are some things you need to have set up ahead of time uh, so I just want to make sure before you actually go to start clicking do read the, the process and follow the steps exactly so the first thing you need to do uh, in terms of a prerequisite is you need to have a smart license account. So if you go to software.cisco.com, you see a screen something like this. There's lots of links about information, learning more about it, etc. But if you click on get a smart account, you can most likely then create that smart account. I'm not going to show that here. That's outside of the scope of the video. That smart account is for all Cisco licensing, but we need this in place for the DLC to then work. And then the second step is you need to upgrade your entire ACI fabric, all leaves, all spines, all Apex from something less than 3.2. So what I now want to do is take the rest of the video to show that device-led conversion process in Apex. Okay, I've logged into my APIC and I've already got it upgraded to 3.2 and I just wanted to show you the faults that might show up uh, when you do the same process. And the one in yellow here is telling you that smart licensing is not configured and that you're running in an evaluation period. Uh, and that nothing will break once you're out of this period, but they are giving you some time to go ahead and get this uh, all in order. So I'm gonna close that. So I am in system smart licensing and it tells you that I'm currently running in evaluation mode and that the first thing I need to do is register my APIC with the Cisco smart licensing software. If you want, you can right click here and open a new tab to the smart software manager. Now I've already done that and I've already logged in. So let's take a look. So I've got what's called a virtual account uh, in my smart licensing already set up ahead of time. I didn't show that in the video, but it's something that you'll need to have in place. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to generate a token that my APIC can use uh, to register itself uh, with the smart licensing portal. So let's go ahead and generate a new token. 
So you can see here, I've got my new token, and if I click on the little icon, I can very quickly just go ahead and copy paste that. Now I'm gonna go over here into APIC, and the first thing I wanna do is check that the DLC is actually available for me. So in the upper right, in the little tool, there's something called claim device licenses. You wanna see that, and that's what we're going to use to actually do the DLC. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna register our APIC with our smart license account. Now you've got a couple of choices here. You can go direct connect, uh, you can have an on-site transport gateway for more secure environments, or you can go through uh, a proxy if, you're, if your uh, environment uses a proxy, in which case uh, you, you would click that. So I do actually have a proxy, so I'm going to set that up. Okay, I've got my proxy set up, and I've pasted my, uh, my token that I generated in my smart account here. And we'll see uh, the screen change to registration in progress, and in just a moment, if it's successful, we'll see a different state. And this is what we want to see, that we've in fact registered, but we are currently out of compliance. That's okay, because we're going to fix that with the DLC. Now, if you look below, the system is already aware, Apex already aware of the things that you currently have set up and running in your ACI fabric, whether you've got multi-pod, multi-site, AVE, things like that. You can see a list of things that I've got running and the counts of the licenses needed to bring those into compliance and my current status as out of compliance. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to click up here in the toolbox and we want to use the claim device licenses. So I'm going to click that. Now this is very, very important that we review this very carefully because there are four steps that we need to make sure that we have in place before we go to the next step. Seriously, follow these instructions. Don't deviate from the process. So the first is that you've already configured your smart account to be able to claim device licenses. Again, that's part of the, the administrator settings of a smart account that you could click as part of a preference. That's already been done for me. The second is ensure that all nodes and controllers have been installed and connected to the APIC fabric. Don't, you know, don't forget that remote leaf that you've got over there that you forgot to connect. Get everything you have connected up and running and registered to APIC. Make sure that all of those nodes have been uh, upgraded, spines, leaves, APICs, to the proper version of ACI firmware, and that is going to be 3.2. something. And then also make sure that all the features of the licenses that you've purchased are actually being used. For example, if you bought the MaxSec security license, make sure that you've actually created a policy that deploys MaxSec, or APIC won't realize that you have that, and it will get missed when you do the device-led conversion. The same holds true for things like multi-site, and if you're running AVE as well, and, and other things. So check that those features are actually configured and running in your fabric before you go on to the next step. So once I've ticked all those boxes, I can click claim device license and everything should automatically happen in the background with the smart license portal. Now, if all goes well, in just a couple of minutes or less, you should see your authorization status go from out of compliance into authorized and in the color green. And then down below, you can actually see your smart license usage, the level of license that you have and the count and the fact that it is authorized. If you want to see a quick summary of all the different licenses and the levels and things you could possibly license, such as an add-on, you can click on this overview link here and it opens up a new window that gives you everything that's included in base, essentials, and advantage. And if you scroll down to the bottom, even some of the add-on licenses like storage, like AVE, like MaxSec, and things like that. So it's definitely a, a useful summary to look at right from inside APIC. If you click into your smart licensing portal as well, you can also see an inventory and account of the license that you have as part of the DLC or from other smart licensing purchases you have and the number that are actually in use. And that concludes this video on how to do the one-time device-led conversion process.